Hi guys, welcome back to another Bedrock Tutorial with Inner Nature. Today we're going to be putting together my micro farm to handle all your crops, from wheat to beet to carrots and potatoes. You will be able to make anything you want as fast as you want, as long as you have the bone meal to support it. So, without too much lag, uh, we're going to crack right on. Next door is my sugarcane printing press and my AFK melon and pumpkin farm. Feel free to check those tutorials out if you'd like. We're going to start with a floor plan that looks as you see here, just like my other farms. We're going to start with our collection chest. Double chest like so, with the hopper going into it. On top of the hopper, we're going to go ahead and put our dirt block. That's where our crops are going to be growing. In the back of the dirt block, we're going to put a sticky piston. This sticky piston is going to retract in order to harvest the crops once they grow, so we need its default to be extended by placing a redstone torch behind it, just like that. And you see the redstone torch turns out, the dirt now pulls back. In order to make this thing work backwards, normal, we're going to put a piece of redstone dust, a repeater with three ticks, and another piece of redstone dust behind that. And in order for the dirt to be farmable, we're going to put our water source right up the corner like that. That is pretty much the harvesting section done. Now all we need to do is set up the system to grow when we plant crops. We're going to do that by putting a dispenser down, dispenser down, dispenser down. With redstone dust on top of all three of those. And the last thing we need is an observer to give our farm the signal that something is grown. Pop that on top and a piece of redstone dust connecting everything. So your redstone should look like this. Remember to set that repeater to three ticks, otherwise it gets a little weird with cycles and items not falling out like you expect them to. Give me just one minute to fill in my ceiling here. Take that dirt block out. You notice with the block update, it, the piston goes ahead and pulls the dirt back and forth. Last thing we want to do is set up a few blockers in front so that the items only go straight down into that hopper we have set up below the dirt. Now I'm going to take and load up my dispensers with some stacks of bone meal. Three stacks would do fine to get me going here. Grab my hoe, till the land, don't need that hoe anymore, and just to show it off, grab a few of our crops, plant seed, grow and collect, plant seed, grow and collect, plant seed, grow and collect, works for beetroot, there's your potatoes, and carrots and if we check the double chest here you'll see everything is going into our collection chamber and that is done hope you enjoyed the tutorial feel free to leave a like or a comment and i'll see you guys later bye